Good morning, welcome to another session with Martin's detailing blog. Um, a couple of days ago I, I did a uh, maintenance wash on my wife's um, a, Audi A3 convertible. Uh, and I gave, well, when I did the wash, I gave the roof a real in-depth clean. Um, and I'll put a link under the video uh, to one of my previous videos where I demonstrate how I clean um, a convertible roof for anybody that's interested. Um, so anyway, it's been a couple of days. We haven't had any rain for the last couple of days. It hasn't been very warm. It hasn't been particularly sunny, but the roof is really nice and dry now. And the... Uh, uh, weather forecast says it's going to be dry for another four or five days so perfect time to prepare the roof and put uh, another coat of protection on it hand comes around the corner and hands me my morning coffee um where was we yeah so um uh, i've done the deep clean i'll put a link in the video underneath the video to show you how i clean a convertible roof um, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some protection on the roof um, and if you follow my um, channel you will know that um, I use Fabsil Gold I had a, um, quite a long process of trying to sort out a decent protector end up with Fabsil Gold this for me this lasts anywhere between four and six months it's really good stuff um, so there we are Fabsil Gold I think a litre is about £20. It's been a while since I bought some. I've got a couple of cans here. Um, but you get a litre and for an A3 um, that does a couple of two, three um, coats. Um, but what I, what I thought I would do, now I have demonstrated applying this in the past, but what I thought I'd do today is I'm going to try a different type of application. One of my subscribers some time ago suggested applying it with a sponge rather than a paintbrush. I've tried a, a spray, that's not good um, because you spend more time clearing the overspray off the paintwork. Um, the paintbrush is okay but it really does use a lot of product up and the first two or three strokes with the brush seems to draw most of the product out of the brush. So you're using a lot of product. So I thought what we'd do today is I'd um, do a very quick video on applying it with a sponge. I'm not going to do the whole roof on camera. I'll just do bits and pieces of it so you can see what you think, whether it's, uh, if you've got a convertible, whether it's something that, you know, you might try this type of application. Haven't done it yet. I've got everything out on the car, ready to go. So let's stop talking. I'll have a few slurps of my coffee and then I'll meet you out uh, in the drive. See you in a minute. Okay, so I've got a small bowl here with some product and I've got a little bit of sponge and I thought what we'd do, I'd demonstrate um, what I'm doing on this back quarter. Um, so, I'm dipping the sponge here. I'm not going to wring it all out. See how we go. Place it on the roof, which might be a bit dodgy, but work my way along the along the seam keep a cloth with you because you don't want this getting on the paintwork well if it gets on the paintwork it's no big issue but you need to get it off because it does mark and uh, you probably end up with a getting your polisher out to get rid of it if you leave it to dry but uh, this is going on quite nicely So a couple of dips, just wipe the excess off. Don't press too hard to start with, otherwise you squeeze all the product out. I'm 
Uh, for me, this is much more prefer preferable than uh, a paintbrush and definitely more preferable than a spray. This is uh, quite enjoyable. Right, let's, uh, let's bring you in a bit closer. So all I'm doing is I'm dipping it and then just squeezing it a little bit So I've done all of this side, I now need to up my way across the roof and do the back and the other side. Like I said, keep a slightly damp cloth with you so you can wipe any drips off. Um, don't totally squeeze the sponge out when you start, just uh, squeeze sort of about half it out so it's not dripping. And then uh, as you put it on, when you initially put it on you'll get quite a bit of product out so just spread it around and as you move across the the roof you just put a little bit more pressure on the sponge and squeeze a bit more out as you go um, and I'm really pleased with that hardly any mess um, much easier than a paintbrush definitely better than a spray gun so um, yeah there we go for those of you with convertible roofs I hope that's uh, of use to you um, and even if you haven't got a convertible roof but you go camping this might be a good way to apply fab seal gold on your tent so, there we go. Until next time, you guys take care. Bye-bye.